Engelbert Humperdinck. I should have said, if I didn't, that, uh, whoops, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to go over that just a little bit. Uh, and here are just a few other things you need to know to enjoy this talk. One, uh, that's me. That shrunk my left arm by two inches, and I've had the mustache since 1972. Okay, so that's me. And uh, let's see if it, oops, did it again. I'm going to have to use these arrows. Whoops. Oh, no. It's all going wrong. Okay. And uh, now for those of you here, whoops, does not work. That's supposed to work. I'll do this arrow here. Well, I'll do that arrow. Now, I have an interesting story about the belt buckles. Uh, but I did find some links on the web for some similar belt buckles and sent them that. And if we, had, if we do that, we're going to need an acronym that, that matches um, armadillo. And so I've come up with one. Uh, but the, uh, which, uh, having technical difficulties all of a sudden, how come this won't? Is your mouse? The mouse is, the yeah, that's good. Um, okay. And it turns out the earth and uh, this great red spot is, worth two of Earths, this little circle, and the big circle is the, uh... okay, so here's another little movie, which should play, hmm, hmm. I gotta have a, it's tr this one, whoops, that's not right, okay, now how am I gonna, so I'm having some technical difficulties, Oh, this sh no, left click. Does. Left click. Yes. I don't want to end the show. Well, hit escape right now. <laughs> now, click, click. There we go. Thank you. I should get this straight now. Release a live armadillo into the audience. <laughs> Armadillos carry leprosy, so you don't want to touch them if you see one anyway. And uh, in the galaxy, doesn't have the galactic escape speed necessary, but it, uh, um, can you imagine if some other alien civilization may have sent one of these things our way? Um, okay, so let's see. This... These are the, uh, uh, on the interstellar part of the mission. Uh, so I had expected kind of bland moons. Um, I should have said, if I didn't, that um, the Earth and the big circle so if anyone has any questions, they should go up to the mic if they want to ask anything. Um, did I hear something about the uh, particle speeds of the termination shock being a little bit different than uh, expected, other than the, you're talking about the, the fact that there was motion, uh, something about the change, the transition being slower or faster? What about that? You're talking about the, the fact that there was motion. Run that by me again. What? That there was motion. Um, slower or faster. But that was, uh, anyway, I thought it was great. Okay. First one, um, can you tell something about the relationship between the magnetic vector of the sun, the velocity of the solar system, and the velocity of the interstellar wind in the plane defined by our Voyager 1 and Voyager 2? Well, if you had the power to turn on the cameras on Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, are they good enough that they would make better astrometric measurements that we can make already with other instruments? Oh, the, the wind? Well, the, the trajectories of the two spacecraft define a plane, roughly. Yes, they the do. The two of them together. Um, can you tell anything about the velocity vector of the interstellar wind and the solar wind 
by the differences in the behavior observed by Voyager 1 and Voyager 2? Well, the could we, could we determine the, the distances to nearby stars more accurately with Voyager cameras using parallax than we can with ground-based instruments, for example? Yeah, we've got a baseline 100 times longer. Yeah, we do have a long baseline, yeah, that's correct. For example. Uh, regarding uh, Voyager 1, has uh, Voyager 1 uh, detected any other uh, magnetic bubbles in the helio heath? Helio sheath? Uh, uh, yeah. I know uh, there's a certain array when uh, the solar uh, wind hits the intergalactic wind. It's like a crumpled skirt and a ballerina dress. Or yeah, the, heat, that the current sheet. Is, mm -hmm. Yes. What about that? Uh, the solar uh, wind hits the intergalactic wind. It's like a crumpled skirt and a ballerina dress. What about that? Mm -hmm. Yes. What about that? I, I just wanted to know if any other uh, bubbles were noted. Higher magnitude, which would be good because they can make better measurements. Thank you. <laughs> Ibex concept of a ball shock. Thank you. Thank you. So you've been talking about the um, interaction between the solar wind and the prevailing galactic streams of particles. Can you, and that causes like a, a comet like tail off yes. of the magnetic field? Yes. Can you explain where that prevailing galactic structure comes from? Come right in. So you'd expect that to change radically over um, celestial or, or geological time scales, but not short. Time so as far as we're concerned, it's always going to be going yeah, this way. Yeah, I think so. Okay, thank you. So do you guys know what's going to happen? Um, do you know what particles and and energy waves you'll find out there, or is that still a mystery? Or is it just you're just trying to find out how they're going to behave? Or is that still a mystery? Or is it just you're just trying to find out how they're going to behave? And, and yeah. I actually bring up a very good point. I forgot to mention it. Or is it just you're just trying to find out how they're going to behave? So I'm having some technical difficulties. But I would really like to concentrate on the quest for interstellar space. Or is that still a mystery? And, and so I'm having some technical difficulties. Ah, oh, this. Sh no, left click. Left click. Thank you. I should get this straight now. I would like to make a comment. Hardware. Hardware you know difficult processes I may have overlooked saying that if you lose contact with Voyager well that's sort of a you Okay, anyone else? No, left click. Left click. Okay, anyone else? I don't want to end the show. The mouse is... Hit the escape button. Yeah, that's good.